Hello everybody and welcome to Max Payne 3. Uh, this is uh, the third and final kind of chunk section of our Max Payne series. Uh, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, you're wel more than welcome to subscribe and ring that bell so you know I'm alive and you know when I'm going live with more of these or other video game shenanigans. And if you're coming back, welcome back. It's good to see you. Uh, you know how, what it is. You know how it is. Grab your nearest beverage. We like to keep it nice and hydrated here. I don't know how much you can hydrate with uh, protein shake, but uh, that's me. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I've recently, like a week or two ago, been informed, probably a week ago, that Max Payne 1 and 2 will be getting a remake from Remedy Games and Rockstar will be like participating as the main like game company that's going to publish these. So that's cool whenever that happens i'll definitely be streaming that with mods like always <laughs> but anyway without further ado let's uh get this party started um let's do comments first and invite our the the very fine people of discord over whoa oh well, that's not it ah oh, wait up there we go all right, I haven't booted up the game, so we might have to go through that whole, hey, it works, it doesn't work, <laughs> on the screen, on the opposite screen or whatever. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, also, I gotta boot up Wii Mod. Also, I don't know how long this stream will be, probably an hour and a half, maybe a little longer. Oh, man. I hate... I don't appreciate... There is no hate here. <laughs> uh, how Weemod just logs me out every time. Just the username? Okay. Are you serious? There we go. Ugh. Okay. Max Payne. Oh no. Oh, this is bad news. Bad news bears. <gasps> Max Payne 3 is not installed. Update. Oh, it just needed to update. Okay. I knew it was installed. I installed it, like, right after beating the second one. <laughs> Sorry. That was a weird sneeze. <coughs> Why does it say I don't have it installed? have to add a custom connection to my catastrophic failure wow that's uh, that's a little much wouldn't you say no not game display capture so you can see what I'm doing <laughs> catastrophic failure okay here we go first first uh, 10 minutes of any new game I stream is this type of boot up process so if anything I might be able to squeeze in an hour of actual gameplay but for now whew, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, not do that <laughs> oh no I think I might have to restart Wiimote 
because how can it tell me it's not installed you know like it's right there you see it steam steam library max pain 3 yeah no am i wrong am i wrong here <laughs> okay let's close out remod Wiimod is running. Okay, well, I, I don't want it to run. I want Wiimod to be completely shut down, so... If I say install game, what does it even do? It doesn't do anything. Like... Okay, let me see. Control out delete, task manager, let's pull this bad boy up. I'd definitely not be running that. And Wiimod can also sleep okay let's try this again hmm okay that's this is not good oh Hey, Neon Cat. Okay, here we go. Next page three. Not an EXE file. Oh, internet shortcut. Okay. I understand where the problem is. It is an internet shortcut, but I need the .exe file. <clears throat> There is no save game for Max Payne 3. Okay. If I go to Grand Theft Auto 3, there is also no executable file. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. <laughs> close. Mm. Mm. Um, Steam. Steam VR. Yeah, no, that's not it. Nope. Okay, I don't want the world seeing what files I got. A butt. Square Enix. No, that's not it. Oh, local disk C. Program files 86. Okay. This might be the thing, but there's no Steam in here. It's only Epic Games. Okay, what about just program files? Mm, well, Rockstar Games. Social Club now. No. No, it's not this. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, hold up a second. Yes. I found it. Steam apps. Oh dear. Okay, let me minimize that. Yes, this is the application. It doesn't say exe file, but I think if we link that, that will work. Yes, that's the one. Hacker man. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. Do me this one solid. Yes, Rockstar Games. Let's get him. It's launching. Updating Rockstar Games launcher. Yeah, buddy, absolutely. Hopefully the volume doesn't make me deaf.
I know it says we're having trouble, it's just in my other screen it's like doing a whole thing. Because the Rockstar Games Social Club is doing a whole other thing. Connecting to Rockstar Game Services. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes I do miss the days when you just had a cartridge or a CD. And you just plugged and played. Please be my password, please be my password. Oh my god, okay, how about this? Please be my password, please be my password. Yes! Okay, Rockstar Games Launcher is open. Hmm, it's weird. I think the connection might be off. Because in my Rockstar Games library, it's not there. So, I should just launch the game through Steam. Oh dear. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, hey, don't look at that. <laughs> I'll take a picture of these. Because I am going to need them at some point. Okay, Max Payne 3, just play it. Yes. Come on, Microsoft, you can do this. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. I should have probably put it up this game before, you know, <laughs> playing it, but you know how it is. It's allegedly running too, so that's what's even funnier. Oh, there we go. It's on the wrong screen, but at least it's running. Rockstar Games Inc. Content of this game is purely fiction. Oh boy, I have a feeling there's no sound. Also, I have a feeling my screens are flipping out. Brightness, uh, there. Continue. Put it up, pull it up from, from like a YouTube video or something. Time to move on. I don't even know if you guys can hear. Life. I can't hear anything. So. Yes, absolutely. Max Payne is old. He's arriving to like a crappy hotel room of sorts. Eh, not 
Still cracking, just a little crack. It reminds me of Michael now, the Santa. Like I said, it was a long time ago. Let it go, seriously. Definitely more my style. It's kind of cool that the loading box. screen is literally the start of the screen. Guess. It's like written by Dan Hauser. No. Yeah. I'm you, honest, man. I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, hey, once what in a while, but not uh, all the Caspian. Time. Trying to get this game running on my other right. screen so you guys can see it something. For now you just favorite. kind of stuck with this screen, so apologies for that. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited, really. I really so need to even even start. As soon as I get this game on Windows mode, we're gonna drag it over. I think right. you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly, it certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life, just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. So far, it looks really cool. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ken, yeah. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. Oh, that always works. Boy, oh boy. It says it's still loading, so sorry about that. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Alright, let me jump in. Oh, thank god. At least the controllers work. Uh, settings. Display. Subtitles on. Graphics, full screen off. Apply changes. Okay, full screen is off. Hopefully, it's a window that I can. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Cool. Um. Yeah, no, everything else is fine. Out, drag this here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Tap that out. And now, no display capture. We're gonna do game capture. And it's gonna be the actual game. Awesome possum. Real cinematic there, but. It'll work. Um, okay, so game is running. Hopefully, we mod realizes I'm playing it. Yes, playing. Awesome. Okay, cool. I'll just switch back and forth between them. Now you can see the comments. Everything's okay. Resolution's good. Perfect. Okay, let's dive in. Oh no, actually, let's not because there's no sound. <laughs> is on
perfect. Oh, let's uh, increase the volume on this bad boy there. There we go. in 20 minutes into the stream. Typical. <laughs> I'll try to play for a little less than an hour so I get the full like introduction of the game and then maybe I'll do a stream tomorrow. For sure I'll do one on Monday but you know it's just the way it is for now. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know, something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him, he's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though, big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha, look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. 
The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! What the hell was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. Right, look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. All right, boys, time to dive in. It was time to choose a nasty hey, fall or a bullet to the head. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh, this movement is so much better. Oh, dear. Oh, hold up. I gotta, I gotta turn on some. Gotta turn on some, some mods, my dude. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's see. What do we got? Yeah, got unlimited health, of course. Unlimited ammo. Yep. No reload. Meh. Unlimited painkillers. I'm invincible. Unlimited bullet time. Absolutely. All right. No reload. Nah. That seems kind of an overkill. Get it? <laughs> All right, let's dive in. Bang. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. Trashy magazines and pretty trashy people. I just hoped I could keep them out of the crime section. Yeah. She yep. was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped not about to be thrown off it. Don't be stupid! Don't be stupid! Let it go! Let it go! Come on! It might have been stupidity, or drunkenness, or maybe both, but before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks trying to save fallen women. Damn. That's a good shot. Tranquila. Tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Okay, you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where's Bronco? They 
weren't waiting on my say so. I had to move. Oh, you're good. Bone appetite. Or bone appetite. To move quick, or Bronco's next charitable donation would be to the worms. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. That's a good one. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. Famous as well as rich, as the bad guys know who to kidnap. Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? <clears throat> Survival level without painkillers. Well, okay. having infinite health will do it. It's okay. Hey, vocês aí? Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Chama uma ambulância! Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff, politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. I was like, why are they taking the approach of like splitting everything and making it look like black and white and stuff? It's like, it used to be comic book sequences. Back That's like an time for some upgraded version the of that. Way I knew how. I 
drink, don't drink and drive, bad. kids. You know. I guess I was like. ready for bed. I gotta hydrate. <laughs> gotta hydrate. Oh, don't leave the milk out. It's gonna be all bad in the morning. A couple of days later, it was back to work, ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. <laughs> you were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, could spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Can someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. But it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> I love this view. Real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. <laughs> this game is turning 10 years old. <laughs> on May 14th. Right on time. <laughs> I would have called, okay. but you know how it is, didn't want it to bother you. Okay. Hey, Marcel, Marcel, I think I might have an interesting investment for your brother. Well, call him up, homie. I haven't I'm seen him for a while. Up. Last week was fashion week. My God, Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh, yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. <laughs> fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? 
What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, my nigga! Yeah. How are you? What's your name, mo? What's your name? Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't... The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Let's dance, meet some goals. There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Cut. the girls. Cut. Cut. They, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. I can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Cut. Son of a bitch. All right, for the F11 seizure, guys. From Steel, North Dakota, just outside of Bismarck. Anders Stetling. This is some place, huh? They, they told me it was a little fresh, but I wasn't expecting things to be quite like this. No? No, see, I've, I've seen things. I was a cop for 25 years. I've seen men run over by combines. I've seen husbands who just ate their wives, but a gunfight at a disco? You were a cop? Yeah, just retired. Oh, what a life that was. And it gave me the money to raise a family. 
I got a girl at college in Wisconsin and a boy who's playing football for Minnesota State. You want to see their picture? No, no, that's all right. Oh. Sounds nice. Listen, you stay in here. Don't be a hero. Oh, I won't. I'm retired. Happy, healthy ex-cop. Give me a break. Diego! Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were Get back em. to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. Cork, geez. Ah, they were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. In the older games, I would have had to do this myself. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a good class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Come on, come on! Jesus, Max! I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, the Marcelo, but he's here now. Now, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just a guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are! Quick, get after them! Are you crazy? We can't just leave her! Max, you're gonna do something! Come on! Get the rifle back there! Oh, shoot. 
Inside, Passos. Get us down there. All right. We're headed to the helipad. Shit. Oh, look out! How many of these guys could there possibly be? Hello. Goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Broncos' security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. Hello. Nah, you're fine. Odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I need to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my God, it's Raul. Giovanna! Oh! What the hell are you doing? Giovanna! <laughs> hey, no, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. Okay, I have a feeling chapter 3 is coming, so that'll be the last chapter I do. I'm gonna be live for another, like, 15, 20 minutes, however long that takes. do we have we have never paid out ransoms before but I don't know I don't like the feeling of this what about you Max I don't know I'm no expert on hostage negotiations I know people who are 
but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them. But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters. Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I've tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. I have no idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get at me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business now. What have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just want my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. What's he saying? Open the bag, show, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Shit. Apparently, someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message. Trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. God damn it! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. All right, let's go. The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Pull it together, Max. Let's go. <sighs> Hold on. Wait here a second. See there, Grandpa. Come on. I'm getting flashbacks. That wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah. Back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. Whoa, tiger emoji. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. 
That's blasphemy in this town. <clears throat> you okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Mm -hmm. Is it bad? Could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. All right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on. Come on. All right. Don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Salpano, brother. Could be anyone. Huh. Anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money and make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. Which way, though? Go on. Age before beauty. So what am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. <laughs> good job. Just another day at the office, huh? Should have known this wouldn't end well. Ah, didn't begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Where the hell's he going? What do we got here? Does he have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Seu filho da puta! O que aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Quem são os franco atiradores? Mas... Não estou pra brincadeira, filho da puta! Ai! Atenção! Ai. Quem você nos enganou? Não Trouxemos o dinheiro! Trouxemos o dinheiro! Vou contar até três. Não sei o que aconteceu. Não sei quem são. Não, não, eles não estão com a gente. He says he doesn't know who the snipers are. No shit. Não me deu para mim. Como ele salvaram disso? Não sei mais do que isso, homem. Precisa de um médico. Eles são policiais? Eles são policiais? Eles são policiais? I think he's dead. Let's get out of here. Heads up. Here come his friends.
Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. Straight on here, I'm coming. Son of a bitch. Oof. <laughs> yep. Rated right M. About the same as before. Looking forward to getting out of this shithole. We should keep moving. It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. They look like mercenaries. Come on, they're going after the cash. I've had enough of these fools. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Rights, don't you think? Look at this flat jack. This is high end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I know. Listen, I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. Good. I might have written a book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from it. Shots only, boys. <laughs> the cat is not afraid. Our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. Ladies first. That guy was getting annoying. What the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. 
kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids are like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Have a better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. Don't speak too soon, brother. Looks like it's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here. Cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your head set on. I'll deal with the guys on the other side of the fence. You take the others. Whatever you say. River, let's go. All right, I'm inside. Looks like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Neves vai nos matar, hein? Se a gente não voltar com dinheiro, né? Quem é a menina? É alguma alpinista? Eita, que Picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although, if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. Yep. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. I have a feeling that if um, there at? weren't any mods put on, like, there would be a little more pain. <laughs> And nowhere nice. Sound of the money? Nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right. I'm in the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company. <laughs> Okay, 
I'm in. Clear up here. What about the kid with the money? I don't even. Must be still in this section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Passos? The whole gang up ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. I get a run for it. All right. I'll try to clear you some space. I have a feeling I'm gonna fail, but okay. I'm going back in, bro. Kidding me. Get them off me, bro. Don't tell me you have ammo as well. Come on, go get back. Clean headshot. <laughs> All right, at the next cutscene, I think I'm gonna save and that'll be it for today. Why doesn't he pick up any of their guns, dude? That's the dumbest thing. That was too close. I'm getting in time before any more show up. I'm running out of ammo and these guys are dropping guns, but I'm not gonna pick any of them. Uh, Damn, bro. Bye. That wasn't fun. <laughs> okay, Listen, final cutscene. For the chopper, we need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch.
place was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn stadium. Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries, I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right-wing guns for higher ex-cops military, I don't know. They can handle weapons. What's going on now? The guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. Goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up, all right. Come on. We gotta get out of this place. Take care of that guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. Whoever our uninvited guests were, I was about done playing with soldiers. Sao Paulo's most hallowed place of worship. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me, looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. This is a bad idea. an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. us the same way you found me, slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. Hoboken! To look at things. Shout out! I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives, and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind, but I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, 
His dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Now let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old out of man, here. old man. A nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. Snap it up. Funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or how you got involved with killers. Oh. <laughs> I own this town, amigo. <laughs> No, he doesn't. It's Hoboken. Why? Practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear. Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect you my you family. You ain't got the right. Hey, you don't take that from this punk. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived him. But I might start any time. Now say you're sorry. Fucking say you're sorry. Been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away sorry, from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit, cop cut. Don't act clever. Yeah, I will blow your look brains look all, all over this fuck counter, this every fucking where. Come on, Tony. Come yeah, on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put the gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun down now. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before any of you get shot. I got you. Who the fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm gonna fuck off. I got you, motherfucker. I'm back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Yeah? Stay fuck right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from. All over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Soldier. Cheers. What, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something? What a fool. Soldier! Cheers! You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. You Girl sure had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. Hey, I'm moving. He ain't so tough, I think. Hmm. I'm not sure how saving works in this game, but I'm good. <laughs> for now, for today. So, will Max get out of Hoboken, New Jersey? Find out next time. <laughs> what a good game. This is amazing. Definitely, definitely good. Good start for this. And Raul, that's funny. Uh, also, uh, he just holds his gun all the time. I don't know why they at Rockstar back in 2012 thought it was a good idea for him to hold his gun all the time, but 
I guess that's the way it was for the previous games, so they just wanted to keep it consistent. But the cutscenes are a little visually, like, nauseating. Like, they try to do this whole flashy thing, or, like, I'm half drunk, half, like, uh, sober type thing, and I'm like, ah, uh, okay. I mean, it's it's cool and all, it's very immersive, but, like, it kind of takes away with the cutaway scenes, and, like, before it used to be, uh... Yes, Nick, hello and goodbye. <laughs> Um, but it, it before it used to be like a comic book motif. Now it's like more of just like cutscenes in between them and like little lines of dialogue. It kind of looks like the first John Wick movie and maybe a little bit of the second one. Uh, I don't remember too much of the third one in terms of style, but I do think it's kind of similar. Um, but anyway, great game so far. I like the story, love the characters. Uh, I hope we see Passos uh, more. Uh, but yeah, Max Max Payne three. Uh, it's very exciting. Very very good intro to the last entry of the series um, but I'll be back with part 2 maybe tomorrow, most likely Monday but um, keep a look out anyway so muchas gracias por venir que ellos caran español no se les olvide suscribirse y tocar la campana para saber cuando vuelvo a estar en vivo en directo con más Max Payne u otros juegos vuelvo de pronto mañana con la parte número 2 o el lunes con el mismo juego, Max Payne 3 eh, muy bueno hasta ahora entonces estén pendientes y nos vemos ahí thank you so much for watching those of you who did huge shout out to Caspian for chilling out pretty much for the whole stream and Nick for being here for the last minute <laughs> or so uh, you should definitely check out the stream when it goes live uh, or not live you know when it goes unlive or whatever <laughs> uh, it's a good one um, lots of Portuguese spoken I understood the quite surprisingly the majority of it which was I guess not surprising since I speak Spanish and French, but um, yeah, no, it's different enough that I don't understand every single word, but the overall meaning of what each character is saying is like, I get it, <laughs> and it's that's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, keep it real, keep it fresh, you know what to do, keep it hydrated, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell so you know I'm alive and you know when I'm going live with more Max Payne or other game shenanigans. I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow, most likely Monday, with part two. Wash your hands, keep it hydrated till then. Bye. Have a good one.